here is the generic script um, the only text you're really going to be paying attention to is in black ink the text in red ink is just for your notes and mine um, visual basic code is the actual code that's used to actually program this script and again all settings must be configured for imperial and metric measurements based on your system preferences now again every end user is different if your system is set up for imperial measurements every measurement in that you'll be putting in as far as the arbitrary settings that you want to adjust to your specific touch plate will be in imperial if your system is set up in metric it will be in metric you cannot mix settings you cannot have an, an inch actual measurement with a metric actual measurement so please pay very close attention to what you're doing with this so again as far as actually coming over here and manipulating some of the actual settings to your particular touch plate there's only a couple you can see here where it says code G4 P3 I've got the three highlighted to the right of that it says this delay gives me time to get from the computer to hold the probe in place all this basically is is a delay that when you guys hit your auto tool zero button inside of Mach 3 your z-axis will hover idly for three seconds before actually beginning its search moving down for the actual touch plate okay I recommend keeping this number probably here I think three seconds is fine if you feel that that's too long you can shorten it if you feel it's too short you can uh, increase that time just keep in mind that again these numbers are all arbitrary that I'm telling you you can manipulate and, it, I, and again common sense prevails guys I think three seconds is fine um, I've had clients move it down to a second and if they have uh, a slight brain fart for a second you can literally screw things up dramatically so I always recommend giving yourself a buffer that